Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be discussing shortly about the rule of equation. This is one form or one representation of any given relation. Okay, and this one would be easy. This one would be very easy if we would be dealing with straight lines. And what I will be teaching you today is would be how will I create an equation if I would have my given relation. Okay, paano ko gagawa na equation if I have my relation? And only the thing, only thing I have would be my points. Okay, so first one, and first one, first way that you can do is by just simply um, finding the relationship between y, finding the relationship between x and y. So first one, let's take a look at the first give, um the first point. Say we have point A. This is x and y. 1 and 2. You will notice that for every value of y, of x, you need to add 1 to get y, right? So, x should be added 1 to get my y, right? Because in this case, if x is 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. Therefore, 2 is 2. Uh, for our y would be, sorry. Our y would be equals to 2. And it is true. y is equals to 2. Okay? In our next point, we have 3 and 4. In the 3 and 4, let me just put a parenthesis here. In the 3 and 4, we have the same relationship. If we will have x and if we will increase it by 1, that would be the value of y. So meaning, we will have again x plus 1 is equals to y. And lastly, we have point 3, let's say last point, point c. We have 5 and 6. Okay, It is uh, obvious here that for you to get the value of y, okay, you will increase x by 1. This one to get 2, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Same. 5 plus 1 is equals to 6. We have x plus 1 is equals to y. So therefore, if the formula or um, the relationship for from all the given points is consistent, therefore, our equation is equals to, uh, is, is, x plus 1 is equals to y. This is your answer. And this is a representation, this this thing representation of the relation okay let's have another example take note guys this would only be applicable or i mean um easy to do if you're given is a straight line and this would be equation of the relation say we have again um our previous example being i think it's it was negative one and one negative 1 is it negative 1 let me check i think it's still here okay we yeah it's it's 1 sorry so it's 1 so let me just change it it's 1 and negative 1 it's um 1 and negative 2 it's um 1 and negative 3 and then we have i think this is it I know it's one pala positive yeah negative one negative one two three let me change that um, x is negative one and then we have x is negative so negative one and positive one um, negative two and positive one that would be for the y and negative three and positive one yeah so we have our example now so again let's try to check the relationship of our um, x and our y. Let me check out if, if it is correct. Negative 2, 1, 1, 5. So let's try to find the relationship between these values of x's. Okay? So um, we have negative 1 and 1. So x is negative and y would be 1. If we will try to graph this one, it's um, 1 for the y, so it's here, and then it's all here negative 1, negative 2. Uh, this one is definitely a straight line so th therefore we can find the equation for this one but how can we find the equation by finding the relationship of the point so let's say we have negative one and one let's list them down and try to find a relationship for these values okay and negative three and one so what happens to x what happens to uh, what happens to y Okay, and what do we do to x to get y? What do we do to x to get y? Okay, what do we do to x to get y? Hmm, I would guess that the equation here would be 
since y is consistent, so y would be equals to 1. And x is changing, so therefore, we will have um, 0x plus 1. Yeah, this is my guess. Okay, it's, it's, it's hard to do this, but this would be my guess. Okay, this would be x, uh, y is equals to 0x plus 1. Because if your x here is negative 1 times 0, okay, plus 1. 0 times negative 1 is 1. So, y is equals to 1. So, therefore, good. Okay? In this case, the second case, okay? y is equal to 0x plus 1. Your your x here is negative 2, right? So, we will have 0 times negative 2 plus 1. 0 times negative 2 is, of course, 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And this would go the same for the last point. Okay? But this would be my tip to you guys. Okay? If you will notice that for all the subsequent points, this one, if all values are the same for one, either it could be x or y, then your equation here would be y is equals to whatever that value is. Okay? If y is consistent, then you just simply write y is equals to whatever that value is. And this would be y is equals to 1. And this would be your equation, or I mean the representation. representation of the relation so let me give you an example that is similar to that say we have um, 2 is uh, negative 3 2 and negative 4 2 and negative 10 and we have 2 and 6 yeah. you have this given point you will notice that your x is the same which is of course it's always 2 so how will we represent this one if the x or y are the same just simply get which um, value is um, the same in this case the value is this uh, that is the same is 2 and then you, t you you ask yourself is this x or y it's x so therefore this is your representation for the relation okay and that is how you uh, know you try to look if this would this would be the case if the values are consistent but if the values are like this let's have our last example um, say we have 2 and 4 um, 2 and 4 ok so we have 3 and um, 5 and we have um, 4 and 6 yeah. ok 2 and 4, 3 and 5, 3 and 6 let's notice the, the relationship of the values for the first point ok we'll notice that the x is always increased by 2 to get our y because y is equals to 4 the same goes if we will have 3 and 5 the x should be increased by 2 to get my y which is of course 5 correct and ob obviously it's the same for this one you will add 2 to 4 to get 6 okay so therefore our relationship here would be consistent Okay, for all the values of the points or, or the ordered pairs, therefore our equation is x plus 2 is equals to y. You will notice that our variable is always x plus 2. It's always x plus 2. Wait lang, uh, this is the representation of the relation. It's always x and y because the ordered pairs are composed of the abscissa and the ordinate, which is of course x and y. Okay? So this is a way of representing your relation. And this is the last way, the rule of equation. Okay, there are many ways of getting this one. But the one way that I will be, uh, that you need to learn for now, know for now, is um, by observation. Okay, you will observe the given and find relationships between the values of x and y. Okay, because the other versions, the other way would be complicated. And we, uh, we can even go up until the topic of, I think grade grade nine, I think, yeah, which is about ano, um equation of the line and equation of the line being um two point form. I think I taught you guys this one, but in any case, it's two point form. Okay, so that would be all for our class today. If you would have any other questions, just um go back to the video or ask me in our class. Thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.